Who are you? I'm Isaiah Rashad. Isaiah Rashad, welcome to South by Southwest, Austin, Texas. Thank you, Nawa. Right off the bat, Isaiah, I have a gift for you. What you got for me? Something to welcome you to Texas right here. Some Frankie. Beverly and Mays. Hey. Okay. I'm a little surprised. I'm a little. I'm waiting. I want to see. What can you tell the people about Frankie Beverly and Mays? Frankie Beverly and Mays uh, was probably the main thing that my grandma played in my in the house when I was growing up. Her favorite song was Happy Feelings, so that's like, it's probably one of my favorite songs too. Happy Feelings, yeah, Frankie Beverly, and he was always clean. You see him? You see him, man? And he always he was always the cleanest one, always fresh. You know what I'm saying? Frankie Beverly, yeah. What I was wondering about, Mal the Pimp. He's in your video. Mal the Pimp, yeah. And Vinny? Vinny the Shark. The fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, Vinny the Shark, Mal the Pimp. They was crazy. They was real big in, in Chattanooga back in like the 90s, man. Like the 90s and everything. Yeah. It was really crazy. It was real crazy. They came out to my video and showed love for me. It just popped up on me. It was crazy. How about Alton Park? Alton um, Park? You talking about the hood? Yeah, Alden Park, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where my family from. That's where my dad and stuff from. Alden Park, yeah. Alden Park, uh, there's another place that kind of tore down and like rebuilt it into something else, though, so, yeah. And there's Fox Sector. What's Fox Sector? Mm. That's like East Chattanooga. Oh, East Chat? East Dale and East Chat? Yeah, that's where a kid be at. That's where, when I'm in chat, when I'm back at home, that's where I be at. East Chat, East Dale, yeah. Got Cancun's Chicken, like, that's what we be talking about. They got, uh, we got the place I love going to, uh, it's called Old Plantation and shit like that. That's where all my homies be at. That's where I kick it at. Now, heading back to Nashville, Ducko McFly? Ducko McFly, that's the homie. What? Yeah. What you know about Ducko? What can you tell the people about Ducko McFly and Isaiah Rashad? Oh, Ducko's a, Ducko's a producer out of Nashville. He's also a rapper. He was probably who kind of put me on to the crowd in Nashville. He gave me my first show when I came out there. He put me, uh, I opened up for him before everybody else. I, opened, I came on last and I ain't had no project. Didn't nobody know who I was. He just fucked with me. Isaiah Rashad, here we are at Austin, Texas. You get hungry, but if you're back in Chattanooga, you love the crystals. I love crystals, yeah. How many burgers have you eaten at the Crystals? 18. What's the record for eating Crystal burgers? Like 18 is pretty incredible. Have you any idea what the record is like for competitive eating? It's like 140. I think it's like 103. Wow, 140? Yeah, I think it's like 140. And when you tell somebody you've eaten 18 burgers, do they sort of freak out? They don't know what Crystals is. They probably think I'm retarded, but Crystals is like White Castle, except way better. Have way you, better. Have you heard the steak in the sack? The steak in the sack? At Anchors, yo? That's my shit. That's, yeah, steak in the shack with onion rings. Steak in the sack with onion rings. Yeah, that's my shit. Every time I go down there, first thing I get. Loch Ness, quote, where loving your dreadlocks begins. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I be trying to tell people my mama really love hair. Like, she really, she really, she's intense about this stuff. It's, uh, yeah, the Loch, the Loch Ness, she's had it for about four years. And Tuesday is Bring a Friend Day. Tuesday is Bring a Friend Day, and I think Wednesday is Senior Citizen Day. And have you brought any friends to your mom's shop at all? Have any rappers been there at all? Has she done any rappers or rock and rollers? No, nobody believes me when I say my mom has the gift of God. They don't understand it. But the, yeah, I, I show him when he come through. We ain't had opportunity to introduce nobody to my mom's yet. Except uh, who, who saw her? Chris saw her. My homie Chris behind you. But he didn't. He don't want to get dressed yet with his lame ass. So. She makes some incredible weaves, doesn't she? That's incredible, some of the stuff she can do. That's her specialty, right? The weaves, the dreads? My mom really does. My mom will put in weaves, but she don't really mess with weaves like that. It's all like, yeah, yeah she do weaves because I don't really got, contain no, really no products. And she don't really do product here. Anything like that. And I have a gift for your mom, Isaiah Rashad, some Johnny Mathis, because I've seen that she's into the Johnny Mathis in her shop. Damn. Yo, how do you see that shit? Well, you're Isaiah Rashad. We have to know that. No, nah, bro. That's creepy, bro. That's really creepy, man. Like, I was trying to play you for, like, you know what I'm saying, just knowledgeable. This is creepy. I don't, you know shit about my mom. I don't know. That's not what's up. I say, Rashad, how dedicated are you to knowledge? I'm pretty dedicated. I would, I'm, I think so. Like you're up early today, and you're up really early today. I'm up really early. I wake up about six o'clock in the morning every day. Now, falling asleep, you fall asleep on the toilet a few times working on lyrics. I fell asleep on the toilet writing a paper, not lyrics. That would have been just some overly dedicated shit. I was, I was on Adderall from like college days, and like I crashed at the last moment on the toilet. Bad shit. I mean, huh, pun. <laughs> Bad shit though. Terrible. How did you do on the How did you do on the essay, artist? Hey, bro. Awesome. Never, never failed to. So the toilet was good luck then. 
I guess so. I guess so. Or a distraction. One of the two. It didn't end well. I don't even want to talk about that. Damn, that was a bad experience in my life, man. <laughs> How you know about that? Did I talk about that? Well, you're right. Zero shot. We have to know about that. Man, you no, nah, my niggas don't know you, bruh. My homies don't know how to get in contact with you, man. I didn't already checked all these niggas, man. Like, where you coming from? I say, Rashad, your songs are awesome. I really love your songs, especially because some of them are so short. They're like really punk. I love the way they're like really punk. What do you think about that? I like short and sweet shit. I like them. Some some people don't like it. Some people like the songs to be longer. I liked it to be over. It's like totally punk. It's awesome. Do you like punk rock? Do you like short, you know, punk songs? What do you think of punk? I hadn't really listened to punk rock too much. You got something for me to check out? No, you have to check that out on your own, but you are a punk, so you just check out your own music. Who would you, I'm, what? Who would you suggest? Well, I'd probably say some Vancouver punk rock, a band called The Subhumans or a band called DOA. Not Death of Autotune, but DOA. Yeah, you say who? DOA from Vancouver, Canada, and The Subhumans the from Subhumans. Vancouver, Canada. Like the they have a song called We Don't Care What You Say. Fuck you. That's their song. Oh. It's amazing. We don't care what you say. Fuck you. Like, that is a chorus to be sampled if any chorus is there to be sampled. Eh? Might have to check it out. And they have another song called Slave to My Dick as well. You're just a slave to my dick and it really makes me... Creeped out. Sick. Ah. So lots of fun in punk rock, isn't there? Fill in the blanks that you don't know, you don't know what to expect with this one there, buddy. Isaiah Rashad, quote... Poe Pimpin, so do. That's me. Or. Die. Do or die. And I have a gift for you right here. I have some Poe Pimpin there for you, Isaiah Rashad. Came with all the shits with my nigga Twist on this motherfucker, too. Oh. I think that's awesome, though. Shouting out do or die. What can you say about do or die? Chicago, shouting out. That's awesome. I, was, I just remember old videos. Uh, do you want to run? All that type of shit. Old videos. And all all this all this all that type of stuff. I, I remember all that shit. That was the type of stuff I was really into. I like that. It was like old pimp shit. That's the tightest shit to me. You got the eight ball out here. You got the Frankie Beverly. All this shit. Even this nigga like it's some pimp shit. All this right here is pimp shit, except the Johnny Mathis. Got to say. Isaiah Rashad, I want to take it back to Chattanooga. Natural Habits. Have you heard of them? Like, what rap bands have you heard on the local scene? Natural Habits. Natural Habits was one of the first people when I was younger. It reached out to me when I was like six, 16, 17 years old. It was like, yo, we really want to uh, get you a part of this and that. I think they weren't about me rapping like dirty lyrics. I think that's what it was. I think that's why I didn't do it. But it's funny. I ended up working with some of them, like a different job. They cool people. Like they real, they real avid about it. They be breakdancing and shit. And that's Chattanooga. Yeah, Chattanooga. What about Mad Dreams or Piney Woods? Wow, Mad Dream? Like M A D D? That's my cousin. That's my that's the first nigga to record me. Ever. That's the first nigga to ever record any shit like in the real studio. He recorded all this shit. Uh what? On my SoundCloud, like khaki, all that all the stuff. He recorded like the first six, seven tracks is that was on my SoundCloud. Yeah, that's the homie. That's my that's my big homie. Um he said Piney Woods. Piney Woods was a rapper out of Chattanooga. He had a song with I'm, uh, one of one of the prominent songs I remember was uh I'm a bi right with uh with Lil Wayne, and uh, unfortunately he uh, he got he got he got killed. But you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it going for for him and everybody else who writing for me. But shout out to Piney Woods, anyways, and Mad Dreams. Piney Woods, and definitely shout out to my cousin Piney Woods. He gonna beat my ass if I ain't shout out. Like yeah, Man, that's crazy. You know my cousin. I'm gonna call him about this shit. That's trippy. It's creepy. I'm telling you. Isaiah Rashad, anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Um, I'm Isaiah Rashad. Of course, I ain't expect to be doing this for Narwar, so thank you. And whoever snitched on me and told all this other shit, when I find you, I'm going to fuck you up. Talking about my mama and shit again, they crazy. I'm just playing. Well, thanks so much, Isaiah Rashad. Keep on rocking in the free world, and do do the loot do 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 Yeah. No, it's weird. <laughs> Thank you.